Hello, this is an um, exam to review. So here in this video, I'll just give you a brief idea of what you need to know uh, for the exam. All right. So as you can see, uh, uh, I have uploaded or I've sent this uh, the review to everyone. So I'll just briefly go over what you need to know from this. Uh, uh, yeah, from, from this. Yeah. So I'll just give you a brief idea. All right. So first, uh, well, like I said, uh, the exam will... Uh, uh, be yeah, chapter three, so it will be from section three point two to three point seven. All right, and uh, if you see here in this review, so I'll, I'll let me just go over all of these uh, briefly. So first here, I said that uh, you need to know the definition of derivative. The reason I said that is we need to use this definition uh, to find the derivative of let's say something like this. Uh, I think I did this, so I expect uh, I, ex I expect that everyone has watched my regular lecture video. So I have shown this on my lecture video. So that's why I keep saying that you need to watch my videos, uh, and you need to know the idea. All right. So, uh, so here I since I said that uh, okay, find the derivative of an exponential function, something like this, right? Or something like this. Well, we know that this is well, the derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x. We know that. But how this is e to, e to the power x? Uh, so for this, we need to use the definition of derivative. I saw that in the, the lecture video. All right. So if you haven't watched this, go back and watch it. All right. So um, yeah, you need to know this idea uh, for exam one. All right. Or maybe uh, this one is still e to the power 2x times, well, uh, you take the definition of, or you take the derivative of now of this 2x using the chain rule, which will give two. Well, we know this, right? But now to prove this, you need to use the definition of derivative. So I will ask something like that. So prove something like this using the definition of derivative, all right? Okay, so after that, uh, now, uh, yeah, when I said use uh, the, the definition of derivative, then you have to use the definition of derivative. And we know that the definition of derivative is, uh, I, th I think I did this in chapter two. So the definition, well, if you know y is equal to f of x, then when, if you want to take the derivative of this, this, then it will be limit where h goes to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x over h right so yeah this is the definition of derivative so we need to prove something like this using the definition all right so like i said i have i have uh, done something like this similar uh or i have proved this um my lecture video section three point two all right, and uh, yeah, here I've shown this, just find f prime or just find y prime of, of these equations. All right, so I'm not gonna do it, you have to do it. But if you have any questions, you can ask me tomorrow. Uh, so I will be available tomorrow uh, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, through Zoom. All right, so I've, I've sent out the, the Zoom link to everyone. So just check my email. All right, so uh, so on something like this, just uh, use uh, uh, the formula we know. So uh, the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. Yeah, these things, right? Uh, whatever I have done in this lecture video, we need to know the, those formula to find uh, the, the answer of this. I think you guys have done this on the homework as well. All right. All right. Now, so now let's go to uh, section 3.3. So uh, here, this section 3.3 is about product rule and quotient rule, right? So uh, the product rule and quotient rule, right? So uh, if we have f of x is equal to h of x times z of x then the the product rule says that the 
this is equals to first you take the derivative of h of x and the gf will gfx will stay the same plus now h of x will stay the same and take the derivative of gfx right and similarly uh, f of x if f of x is equals to h of x over g of x then the cosine rule well we have i've shown that on this lecture video so basically yeah you need to know this well you can only uh prove uh these function or it won't, you can only take the derivative of this function if we know the product rule or cosine rule so that's why i say you need to know the definition of this all right and yeah uh, I will act something like this on the exam for sure as well. Okay, so now uh, let's go to the next page. Okay, so here uh, I said uh, understand the meaning of composite function. So composite function is, uh, let's say, if you write something like this, then we can say this is f of g of x. So this means this g of x is inside this f function, right? So this kind of function is called composite function. All right, and also we need to know uh, the definition of chain rule, okay? So, uh, uh, so using the definition of chain rule, we have to uh, find the derivative of uh, something like this. So, uh, um, so yeah, uh, yeah, definitely I will ask something like this. Uh, and if you see uh, this uh, 3.5 here, the first problem here, I, I said that what does the derivative of uh, the function f of x at some point means? So, well, here I said use the idea of, of the slope. So what does this mean is basically if you're taking uh, okay if you're taking the derivative of a function so the derivative of a function at certain point at certain point let's say this point which is let's say a or yeah let's just say this is a so the derivative of a function at certain point let's say a means the derivative of the function, well, the line will be, when you take the derivative of this function at this point, this line will be a tangent line. All right. So the derivative of a function at certain point here means uh, there will be a tangent line that goes through this point. So the derivative of the function at that point will be the slope of the tangent line. So, so what is the derivative of the function at x is equals to zero means slope of the tangent line line at x is equals to a that's what it means all right so you need to know this idea as well okay and again uh, here uh, find y prime using implicit differentiation uh, or find y prime uh, at indicated point so i I've, I've done these things uh, on my lecture video so that's why i keep saying you need to watch my lecture videos every time okay so I will know uh, on the exam when I grade your uh, answer, when I see your answer, whether you are really watching my videos or not, or whether you are just copying answer from somewhere. I'll know that. And like I said that, I I've, I've, I've saw that uh, there were a few students who just copied answer from somewhere. I, I, I can see that, all right? I saw that from the internet. I compared your answer with uh, the answer that I got from the internet and your answers are, um, exactly same all right so please stop doing that that's why i keep saying watch my lecture videos if you have any questions ask me and this time if i see anyone do that 
or if I find anyone just copy the answer from somewhere or if any if two person or three person has same answers or something like this if I see any kind of cheating this time I will uh, take it serious and I will just uh, uh, yeah I'll probably just uh, mm, go and talk to the chair person or I'll just forward this to uh, the academic dishonesty office all right so please be serious with this all right so uh, I've, I've shown these examples on my uh, lecture videos all right so you need to know these things as well okay so here uh, on 3.6 uh, I will probably ask uh, well I assign these two problems right so I'll ask probably one problem not exactly same but similar problem like this all right so from these two i'll ask one problem similar to 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 these all right so um, again i have done the similar problem on my lecture videos and here also uh on section three point seven, I said know the definition of relative change, uh, re relative rate of change, and also know the, uh, how to derive the definition of elasticity of demand. So I have again done this. I've shown this clearly on the lecture video since, well, I have uploaded the the recorded lecture, so that's why I'm not doing this here again. All right. If this was um, unclass, well, in class, then probably I would have shown this again. But since uh, you guys can already see my lecture videos from YouTube, so I'm not going to show anything here. I'm just giving an idea what you need to know. All right. So, yeah, I will probably ask uh, how to prove elasticity of demand or basically idea that is related to the, uh, the of deriving um, the definition of elasticity of demand. All right. So, uh, again, I've done this on the lecture video and also I will uh, probably ask something similar to this in the, in the exam as well. All right. So, yeah, this is a, a basically a, the review of it's a short review I, of uh, what you need to know for the exam. All right. So I think this is going to help. But if you guys have uh, any other questions, just uh email but i don't think uh, the email is a good way to communicate uh for math because uh i can't explain you well through email so um, that's why I, I i've said that please come to uh the zoom uh so that i can show you uh if you have any questions i can directly show you uh through the zoom all right so uh yeah so i pretty much uh given you on this review like what you need to know um so yeah keep, keep practice all of these problems uh don't try to just copy from somewhere because the exam problems i that i i'll be assigning could be slightly difficult uh or maybe it could be easy i don't know but uh the thing is you need to know the idea of how you get the answers all right don't just uh just copy answer from anywhere just know the idea if you if you don't know the idea then probably it's not going to help you uh, for the exam all right so all right so that's it uh for this short review um all right yep yeah, i'll i'll probably see you uh tomorrow on the gym link if you have any questions all right, thank you.